Stout Day! The best day! Day one of Stouts! Yeah. Here at the Rambling Nave. We have some plans for other Stout Days, obviously, if you didn't gather that from day one. Yeah, yeah. The Stout Blind Playoff Edition. Yeah. That's not today. This is this is a wild card round. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we got a lot of stouts because we really like stouts. We just, they're probably the best beer in our uh, esteemed opinion. Uh, no, probably about it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. The subscribe button is down in this corner. This corner. Noah did a primer on stouts earlier. And I thought it was this corner. I was, you know, usually because I'm looking at the screen. It's Remember on my this trick. Yeah. yeah, okay, well, I wasn't doing that trick. It's all in front of Brandon. Okay, it's yeah. in front of Brandon. Subscribe, please. Yeah, we, we'll be right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this week's episode of the Rambling Nave. I'm Brandon. I'm hard. Is it because it's Stout Day? It is Stout Day, and I'm hard. <laughs> 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 Because it's stout and you're hard, or are you just like erect? No, I'm just turgid. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, just All excited. Right. When you talk about stouts, that's when Misha starts to get real excited, real rigid. I, I don't, I don't blame you so, one yeah. bit. Yeah, I mean that's a perfectly normal reaction, but um, yeah. So we're gonna drink stouts today, mm. and it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. This is the wild card. So the winner of this goes on to the blind stout off. Well, I think the winner of the saga tuck goes through the blind stout. Yes. Off. There's two others in here to round out the six, uh, because one of them is a regular stout, and one of the and, and the other stout is mm -hmm. just one of our favorite stouts. And imperial. It's an imperial. Yeah, it's an yeah. imperial stout, and it's one of our favorite stouts, period. Yeah, so the way we're going to do this is, Brandon obtained the stout pack from Saugatuck Brewing. Um, Brewing. Brewing. Michigan. Which, breweries take note more of you need to do stout packs. Please. Yes. I'm yeah. tired of these IPA packs where you have like nine different IPA shit. Nine. I'm so mad about all these IPA packs <laughs> because I don't like those. I want stouts. I want My stouts. question is, is, is IPAs are IPAs that much easier to make? Because everybody has 30,000 different IPAs, but they were lucky if they have one stout. Well, if you watched my primer about stouts, you would know that they're cheaper to make and there's more variety, and you can store them better. Yeah, see, which is, it'd be fine if you had all your IPAs, but just give us more variety of everything else. Yeah, That's give me more stouts in a pack. Just I, will, I mean, yeah. I will buy them individually, but please, just like have them here. So what we're going to do is, we had four Saga Tucks in this pack. We're going to go through them, and we're going to find out which is the best one of those, and we're going to move it on to our uh, Stout Blind Taste Test next week. Um, mm -hmm. And then we're going to have... So many stouts... And then we've gotten a regular oatmeal stout and then an imperial stout coming up after that just to see how they how they gauge on the scale because all the stouts in Saga Tuck are kind of weird. And when we're talking about stouts, we're talking about those things that kind of look like ferrets. And we're going to taste those. Those are stouts. It's the same thing. It's also just, it's just a name for a weasel. Same thing. We're just going to taste a bunch of weasels. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It will, it will rip your flesh. That's not weird. All right, so we're gonna begin with Sag Sagatuck, Sagatuck, Sagatuck. I like I mean, that Michigan that six point oh. Just the word in and of itself, I really enjoy. I don't know why. It just has a very nice uh, mouthfeel. Yeah, yeah. Did this you, is did a. Did you go into the what it means? Or was it Sagatuck? Sagatuck. What does it mean? I don't know. I was asking you. You like uh, the word so much. It, it's no, uh, not Native not American so for <laughs> tucking your penis back. <laughs> oh, okay. it's Native American for goodbye horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, this is Saga Tuck Brewing's Neapolitan Milk Stout. Mm. So, we'll see. I, uh... Wall. Wall. Bottle. Bottle. I love ice cream, so if this doesn't taste wonderful, I'm gonna be mad. There's two That's things. Nice, heavy pour. That's how you're supposed to pour yeah. a stout. Nice and heavy. Get and all the stouts on. are gonna be fucking black. <laughs> well, they damn sure better be. Ooh, I smell strawberries. I do too. Mm. Oh, that's good. It smells like strawberry ice cream. See, it fits so well in there, though. It's like strawberries and chocolate is a good pairing, yeah. and stouts are heavy, dark beers. Oh, you can taste the strawberries. Whoa. Dude. This, does, this tastes like Neapolitan ice cream. It kind of... 
it this goes so through good. it this goes through the flavors good. like one by one like at first you hit with the strawberry and then, and then you get the chocolate yep. and then it finishes, it finishes with the vanilla yes. oh, holy oh, fuck man. that is really is, ridiculously oh, man. good yeah wow oh. okay yeah. I am very much enjoying all of this. Yeah, I was not. This is one of the ones where I was kind of uh, a little nervous, and yeah, boy, I was wrong. Yeah, because there's a lot of, you I mean, there's a lot of gimmicky mm. steps out there. You know, just adding mm. a bunch of flavors for flavor's mm -hmm. sake, and they all come off kind of shitty. But man, yeah, no, you it, this, again, this is, yeah. Oh man, this it progresses beautiful. through all three flavors. Yeah, that is delicious. All right, so we'll oh. stick it right here for now. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it like, you know, I'm gonna make a bold. I'm gonna make a bold oh. statement. I'm gonna put it all Let's the way. See how top. long that bubble stays there. All right, oh. and it's fucking gone. Ah. So this one, I, I'm bummed that it, it's what it is because, as we've seen in other episodes, I am a huge Star Trek fan, mm -hmm. and this one is Beam Me Up Stouty Coconut Stout, and it's got the teletransporter room on the front. It's kind of dope. Nice. Yeah, makes me happy. Except for the fact that it has a coconut on it. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think this would be their Irish? Yeah. Because you know it'd be like Scotty, oh, and you have a yes. Scottish a Scottish stout. But no, they go coconut. You know, you know, nothing says Scottish like well, Scottish coconut. and Irish are literally two different things, and I'm pretty sure they hate each other. You know they that they're different countries, right? Yeah. <laughs> Scottish. They have a Scottish ale. The Scottish a Irish ale. It's a Scotch ale, which is not a stout. Well. It can be though. You can make it a Scotch ale stout, but you can also make it Irish, so it just feels like a war in your mouth. Well, look. Oh like boy, is that coconut heavy? Yeah, oh, I it's like a banana boat. boat. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're gonna go suntan. And yeah, it smells like it just licked someone that's yeah. just been out in the sun all day. Really, that is that is rough. All right. Yeah. I feel like maybe, okay, maybe the heaviness of the beer will kind of yeah, pair I, that I'm hoping. taste back. Nope. It's, oh, no, it's there. No. Nope. It's, arti it's artificial coconut. That is not good. No. <laughs> don't like. No. See, I don't hate it. But then again, I don't hate coconut, so. I don't hate coconut. It's just, I don't like artificial coconut But I don't flavor. know that's artificial because it kind of tastes like uh, coconut oil. Like I used to put coconut oil in my coffee a lot and this tastes like that. Okay. Um, that being said, it is a rather it's, it is very forward good. flavor. Yeah. Like you don't, you can't get away from it. There's no uh, extra stoutiness to it. You know what I'm saying? Like the coconut kind of takes over from the stout flavor. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get the malt in there. A little bit, but what I'm saying much. is the coconut is more forward than yeah. uh, stout. Itself. Well, but I mean, it's a coconut stout. You want to taste that. I'm I'm going to go out on a limb sure. and put that there. I'm, I'm okay with one. It. I'm going to put it up one. Here's the thing, though. Okay, because, like, this one was really well blended. It, had a, it did a really good job of going through the flavors, and then there was still that heavy stout underneath. Yeah. Well, I think this one is a bit too reliant on the coconut flavor. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Is if you like coconut, you'll like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I a mean, yeah, major it, coconut But that's the thing. Fan. Even if, like, when I put coconut oil in my coffee, the coconut oil would take over from the coffee. Yeah. So. All right. So next is going to be a non-Sagatuck. Sagatuck? No, no, no. No? No. Oh, we're going all Sagatuck? Yeah. yeah let's, rules? let's figure out which one of those is best first. Okay. Well, then we have the blueberry maple stout with a... Happy Lumberjack. Happy, happy Lumberjack. Pancake-eating Lumberjack. Which, I mean, that makes me happy. Yeah. This, I mean, this whole aesthetic of, you know, pancakes and beer and Lumberjacking. Lumberjacking. <laughs> Here's to happy. That's what it says. Well, All I about hope, Lumberjacking. I hope they're right. A little more. Looking at it, Thank I think you. it's going to be much of a different color. <laughs> Blueberry? Yeah, you, yeah, you can see, definitely uh, smell the blueberry. That one, I feel like this one to me is the coconut to you guys. Because I don't... Wow, there's a lot of maple flavor in that. Yeah. It's more maple than it is blueberry. For sure. Like, you get the blueberry yeah, right up first, and then, and then the maple <laughs> just, like, throws a haymaker. Well, it, yeah, it just comes in and cross-checks you. Yeah, you, know, you get that sure. Canadian maple. And that's not bad. I like the maple. Yeah, I, I like. like the maple. I like that it's more maple forward than blueberry. Uh -huh. 
That being said, though, this is one of those beers because of the heavy maple flavor and it being a stout. You have one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can. Yeah. It, you have already like one. Wow. That's thick. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's there's not much like there's, more. Like than... it's like it's almost like the act, like there's actual <laughs> drops of maple yeah. syrup in there to like thicken the brew. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's the thing. It's good because. Let's be honest, fucking maple syrup is delicious. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But you need something to essentially chase that maple syrup, which is why pancakes are so great. Yeah. They just absorb it. Oh, yeah. And then pancakes you... are a butter and syrup delivery system. And if you want to see uh, pancakes, you, there's a, we'll put a card up there on yeah. our pancake episode. Yes, that was our uh, art film. Yeah, yeah, we made an art film about pancakes. But yeah, it's just Should because it's somewhere. <laughs> yeah, to can. Um, but yeah, it's just because it's just. It's almost just like drinking maple syrup. Yeah. And yeah. If you've ever done that, I have. If you've ever done that, <laughs> you start to feel really bad. Like your body fast. just kind of, yeah, your, your heart goes fast, but everything else just feels like it comes to a crawl and things get tight and then you have a trouble, you have trouble breathing. And <laughs> but emotionally, <laughs> you're happy. Emotionally, yeah, you're happy. Physically, you're done. Yeah, emotionally, you're, you're, sweating, you're sweating and <laughs> your tongue swells for whatever reason. And all, yeah, because all your endorphins are just like full of sugar. I mean, I'm tasting coffee in this too, which is nice. Yeah, just a touch. Yeah. Actually, like, I, I'm, that one... Again, I agree with you. You can really only have one of them. Yeah. But the aftertaste is great on it. No, it really is, because it's, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it tastes like breakfast. Mm -hmm. okay. It's actually only a 6%, which, wow. I mean, like, so if you want to go for two, it's not going to, like, ruin you, but, I mean, you might feel bad from, like, just the sugar. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the last of the Saga Tuck is 6.5, and I love this one. This one's called Darker Than Your Soul. Um, I question that. It's <laughs> true. Let me tell you about some of the questionable things I've done in my life and said to other people. So we'll we'll see if this is actually. I mean, it's gonna have to be like no light escapes kind of thing. It's a, okay. Like the dark matter of beer. Okay, that's nice. That stuff. is definitely nice and dark. It's not quite motor oil. <laughs> Pretty damn close. Oh, okay, so. Darker than your soul. So there's nothing about it. It just... Nope. It's just got the Grim it's Reaper. It's just a stout. It's just a, it's just a regular it's a snake. stout. So has it got like venom in it? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> it's a cobra. 100% pure snake flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Made with real cobra poison. Real snake oil. Mmm. Oh. Wow, it gets... You really get it in the back of your mouth. I like that. That is a thick brew. Yeah, you, yeah. like, it almost like it travels through your mouth until it hits the back of your palate, and then it just kind of tingles a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. <laughs> There's nothing fancy about it. This is just a stout. This is just a yeah. stout. This is, this is and a it's a fucking good one. I like that. Yeah. And the scent, it's almost... I don't want to say it's coffee because it's not coffee. It's like a, it's a stout scent. It's almost like it's really yeah. hard to. It's almost like dark chocolate. Yeah, I taste dark chocolate, which is my favorite chocolate, which might explain why I like this so much. It actually kind of has the consistency of like me like really melted dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Now I will say I think Tempura the chocolate Baltimore is better. Yes, but this is damn good. I mean, this for being good. a stout, yeah, like, I would. And not just that, but like, just the bold density of it for it only being six seven on the ABV scale. Yeah. Like usually six, when, five, but yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So even better. Like usually when you get this this heavy of a beer, you're looking at like nine, ten, eleven. Right. Yeah. Well, that being said, Saga Tuck did this even with the coconut and and the blueberry maple. Yeah, that they're still good. These are very very good. And this is why you need to make more fucking sampler packs of stouts. Yeah. Because these are delicious. Yeah. You know, I, we probably Step never would have tasted game. them. Yeah. Step up your stout game. Because I could, this could easily be a go-to. Oh, yeah. I mean, like. At a 6.5? Yeah. Yeah. Like, just, you know, one in the fridge at any time. And what? just, like, pop it out. Have it, like, follow in dinner. What's the Neapolitan? Six. Six. Six even? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Neapolitan, six even. Also, for... Those people who make ice cream don't call it vanilla chocolate strawberry 
I've seen that on actual ice cream uh, <laughs> containers where it just says vanilla chocolate strawberry. I'm like, no, there's a fucking name for it, so you're not saying that. Well, they don't want to like use the same name as everyone else. But that's what it is, right? So they can change it so it's like vanilla chocolate cherry, and that's all. Well, I, mean, like, uh, yeah. I mean, like you could at least slam the words together and be like VCS, like Stranilla. Something, <laughs> but don't put the name of every flavor in a row and be like, that's the name of this ice cream. Fuck Choc you. Chocolate berry. Fine with that. It sounds like a really shitty, like, <laughs> new breakfast cereal. <laughs> chocolate berry. Hey, I'm crazy for chocolate berry. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, you're that guy. Ah, uh, it's the voice yeah, of whatever. Sure. The chocolate berry elephant. Elephant. Oh, <laughs> Tantor, the chocolate berry elephant. Wait a minute, we're giving away all our good ideas. Yeah, all right. These so are ours, don't, don't take them. All right, okay, okay. R R I P. All right, yeah. so the next one is Breckenridge with their oatmeal stout. Okay, so, oh, so Breckenridge, he's the guy who got shot in the head in Starship Troopers, right? Breckenridge is like, what was his name? The guy who uh, he took his helmet off during the training the exercise. Training exercise and his, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it was Brecken something. Brecken Meyer. I thought no, it was Breckenridge. Brecken Meyer was that dude on... Who did robot chicken? Anyways, okay. So here's what we've got. Oh. This was the Saga Tuck sampler pack. So I believe, I believe we're all in agreement that Neapolitan's going to move on. Yes. Yeah. So my question is, do we want the, do we want the unique fancy stout or do we want the regular stout? We'll decide that off camera. Okay. So one of these two will move, move on. Forward. So now we're just doing a. Um, See, that smells, that has a lighter scent. An ordinary oatmeal stout to see how it compares to Saga Duck's uh, <clears throat> novelty stouts. This one tastes like it sat for a long, long time. This one does taste kind of And this of one's fun. sad. This is, I don't know if it's just because I'm coming off of this uh, darker than your soul. This is not Wonderfulness. Good. It's so, it's thin. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. It doesn't have a lot of body to it. Compared to the rest of these, yeah, yeah, like these had, like these had, like they had the thickness. There was body. There was down you know, with the thickness. You, you know, you could like grab onto it and like feel something. Fuck it all night. Yeah, and this is just like super disappointing. It's really watery, is. and it's a five. That's what it is. Yeah, it's watery. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is just like a. Um, yeah, this is. <laughs> it's just, a watered down stout. <laughs> yeah, it's bland. It's tepid. It's, it's like it's uh, thin cooking whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. If it was a stout, cooking sherry. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to one that we both we all like. Okay. So I'm interested in this because now, yeah, we yeah, all know what the old Rasputin is. Old uh, Rasputin. We've also, had this extensively. Also. Yeah. Might have had. Old this Rasputin is a really cool times. old Russian mystic. So he you should look into really him. Cool. Apparently, two separate museums have his penis in a jar. <laughs> like, okay, hang on. Did he have? Okay. In a he probably probably gave I have several cock. questions. Yeah. Did he have two penises? Or probably. he liked to have sex and he didn't bathe. Okay. I, yes, but. Yeah. The other option is. Yeah. Did. Both did like he cut his oh, penis God. into sections, probably. and now museums have sections. Of Dude, it's Rasputin. He probably just had multiple cuts. I don't know why I'm like really like <laughs> thinking about like, his penis. No, like I I've moved completely oh, on. Man, just yeah. thinking like deep and complex thoughts about old Rasputin. Since I've had this like a million times, yeah. and those were a million I'm all, fantastic days. Oh, well, like a it, all, it almost has a sweetness to it when you smell it. Yeah. Like I want, like a, I want, like one of those no, this wax isn't... melts, like on the the warmers, oh. to have this scent mm. and just fill my house with this. Oh. Now this is an imperial stout, so it's a little different. Oh my god, it's it's, it's so good. It's bitter, but it, there's a heaviness oh, to the so beer good. that tempers that. Holy shit! Mm. See, I'm glad we did this because I've loved the old Rasputin since I had it for the first time many years ago. And putting it next to these stouts, which are actually really good, and this still being fucking wonderful, makes me happy. You're wrong. This is really good. You're wrong. I do love this beer, but that one, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Noah. I think you're both wrong. Now, that being said... I'm not going to, like, rank it higher just because I've, like, <laughs> researched this one more extensively. 
This is a great beer. This is, do not get me wrong. Do not get me do wrong. Do not get me wrong. I would drink this beer all the time. But right. I've had I've well, I have I... seen the the I have seen the dark. I have seen the absence of light. I have seen the absence of the light, and it is Sagatai. A certain slant of light. Yes. So, I think we're pretty much in agreement that the rankings would be the oatmeal stout from Breckenridge yeah, no, is balls. blech. Yeah, that out of here. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, no. that's not good at all. All right, Damn That's Bad is going to be the Beam Me Up Stouty, which, I mean, if you like coconut, this would be probably like right number two. We're just not big coconut fans. It's not bad, though, and I hate coconut, and it's not that bad. All right, not bad is the Blueberry Maple Stout, which, honestly, was really good. It, yeah, it's and just, it's... It had the best, like, long-lasting coating in your mouth, because it tastes like you just went to your favorite breakfast place, and you're walking out, and you're getting ready to ha light up a cigarette, but you don't want to do it yet, because you still have this, like... Heavenly mm. breakfast flavor yeah. in your mouth. Just yeah. lingering. Yes. That's what that leaves you. I'll drink it. It's free. Is the old Rasputin. Now, here's the thing with the Rasputin. These ones are like five, six. Rasputin is nine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you can taste so... it. So, yeah, that's what I like about it. <laughs> it <laughs> really hits you in the mouth and you're like, yes. That's right. I am here for Rasputin and blacking out. That's right. This yeah. it tastes, tastes like cyanide. cyanide. It Thank tastes like, you. I was going to say Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't he drink cyanide? Isn't that what his... Like, he was the man who couldn't be killed, right? Yeah, he could yeah. not be killed. They shot him a bunch of times, apparently. And then, threw and then him dumped in him in a river. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then they gave, him, well, they gave him cyanide, shot him, and dumped him in a river. And he came back, he's like, here's my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was true except for that last part. Uh, okay, yeah, they just didn't write that part down. Yeah, I'd buy that for a dollar and absolutely darker than your soul, which, fuck is that. Having them back really to back, though, I will say, while I do prefer the Rasputin, I could see the argument for putting it above that. Well, and my my ar best argument for it is, I can drink two of these for one of those. Yeah, but I'm drinking two to four of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter if you're going for it. You're going. Yeah. Yeah. If I can get blackout drunk and become a weird Russian mystic, <laughs> nah, that's true. All right, and then the okay, guilty actually, pleasure. Actually, hang on. These can be interchangeable depending on. I I'm, I'm putting this one ahead. It's denser. I like that body. I like that fullness. You like that thick, I like body. That thick body. I like that thick fullness in, in your my mouth. mouth. <laughs> yeah, just leave it. <laughs> right. Number one, the one that we'll see next week in our blind stout off, Neapolitan Milk Stout. Hey, I think we might see Rasputin in there too. Yeah, maybe. We might see him again. Yeah. I mean, oh, you will see him again. You can't kill him. <laughs> you can't kill him. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. The subscribe button's out of this corner. This that corner. corner. That corner. Yeah, make sure uh, next week we're going to do the blind stout off. Uh -huh. And Neapolitan has just made its way in based on uh, winning the wild card. Yeah. yeah no, that yes. was, and that was that was well fought, Neapolitan stout. I would not have guessed. Well fought. It kind of just dominated. Like, it showed up. Like, it tried it, and it just yeah. sat there. Yeah, it won. Yeah. 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 I mean, it... Okay. Darker Than Your Soul is going to give it a run for its money, but I think I'm putting it number one because, again, I said this earlier, novelty styles generally, generally don't, like, sit with me because yeah. they're they're novelty styles. Yeah. They have weird flavors that don't need to be there, and they come out typically, like, and me. This one figured out the, the blend. Yeah, it's got the secret yeah. sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So, that being said, next week, Blind Stout Taste Off. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> that's got hard again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see you next week on the Rambling Dave. Love you. My cheers. cheers.